Hey guys, welcome back to The Binger. Ever since the snap that decimated half the universe in Avengers 3, fans have offered up theories about what could happen when Thanos returns in Avengers Endgame. Several of those theories center on the villains that could appear in the movie. In fact, many fans believe that Thanos isn't the ultimate baddie of the movie, and that a more sinister threat is waiting in the wings. Other theories suggest that we could once again see some of the most beloved villains from Marvel movies past. Very few villains are actually confirmed for Endgame. Marvel Studios and the film's directors Anthony and Joe Russo have been so secretive about the movie's plot that we can't trust that we know anything for sure. In this video, we're talking about the villains that we might see in Endgame. A few are confirmed, others are based on fan theories and speculation, but the one thing they all share is that they're all powerful, and some are downright unstoppable. Number 11, Crossbones. Coming in last on our list is Crossbones. Crossbones is one of the few villains who has been confirmed for Endgame. Now I know what you're thinking, hasn't that guy been gone since the beginning of Captain America's Civil War? Well, yes, but Frank Grillo, the actor who plays him, has confirmed that in Endgame, the loyal Hydra agent is back and most likely more angry than ever. Grillo claimed that Crossbones would be appearing in a flashback. The question, of course, is what exactly he means by that. Crossbones could be a part of a traditional flashback that reveals new information about the past, but a lot of clues point to Endgame's plot involving time travel and the quantum realm. So it is possible that the Avengers encounter Crossbones on a visit to the past. Another question is which version of Crossbones we'll see. Will the character still be Brock Rumlow, the undercover Hydra spy working at S.H.I.E.L.D., or will his appearance happen after his true allegiances have been revealed and Rumlow goes full Crossbones? Of course, according to Grillo himself, the whole thing could be a hoax. Shortly after he confirmed his participation in Endgame, he took to Instagram to walk back his comments and imply that he was only joking. But it's possible Crossbones really is in the movie, and Grillo made the statement because he actually got in trouble with the tight lip powers that be at Marvel. Number 10, The Collector. There is some speculation floating around that The Collector will appear in Endgame. While the character was seen in Avengers 3, he turned out to be an illusion, so the true fate of the Collector is still unknown. We know that Thanos destroyed the character's headquarters to get the Reality Stone, but not if the Collector went down with his collection. One theory says that if the Collector is still alive, he could prove to be an antagonist to both the Avengers and Thanos. Another says that he'll show up during a time travel sequence in which the Avengers are working to acquire the Infinity Stones ahead of Thanos. If that's the case, they'll have to visit the Collector for the Reality Stone. With only brief appearances in Thor The Dark World and Guardians of the Galaxy, we don't know that much about the Collector. According to comics though, he's an elder of the universe who used his collection as a means to keep valuable items safe from Thanos. The MCU's Collector clearly understands the value of the Infinity Stones. But whether that's because he wants to keep them away from Thanos, or because he wants to keep them for himself, is anyone's guess. Number 9. Red Skull Audiences were surprised, but excited to encounter Red Skull in Avengers 3. The character hadn't been seen since Captain America the First Avenger. So, what had Red Skull been doing for all that time? He was stuck on Vormir, as the Keeper of the Soul Stone. But after Thanos took the stone, Red Skull had no reason to stick around. According to a tweet from the Russo brothers, not only can he leave Vormir, he can pursue his desire for an Infinity Stone. If that's the path the character chooses, it's possible he'll come up against the Avengers in the process. Of course, there is another theory out there, and it once again rests on Endgame's story relying heavily on time travel. In this theory, Red Skull will once again come up against Captain America, his biggest nemesis. Cap would go back in time to stop him from acquiring the Tesseract. This theory would also account for the reason we'll no longer see Cap in the MCU, something that's expected to happen after Endgame. If he successfully gets the Tesseract from Red Skull, they'll no longer have the fight that ended with Cap left frozen in ice for decades. Instead, by the time the Avengers assemble, Cap will be an old man. Of course, if this theory turns out to be true, it would also rewrite many other parts of the MCU, so it could be a long shot. Either way, fans would love to see Red Skull again, and a Captain America Red Skull rematch would just be the cherry on top. Number 8. The Chitauri Another villain, or in this case group of villains, that have been widely reported to appear in Endgame is the Chitauri. 
The Chitauri were the alien race that attacked New York at Loki's command during the first Avengers movie. That makes them the first threat to Earth the Avengers fought as a team. They were strong, but their defeat was the first evidence that, as a team, the Avengers were stronger. The Chitauri operate as a hive mind and are loyal to Thanos, so they have many ties to Endgame that would make their appearance make sense. The reason they're expected to show up in the movie, though, has to do with an early merchandise leak. A user on Instagram posted several LEGO sets for Endgame, and one of them includes Chitauri minifigures. It's possible that these sets aren't at all representative of the movie. Co-director Joe Russo has cautioned that fans shouldn't put too much stock in too advanced merchandising for the film. But there is another reason to believe that the Chitauri will show up in Endgame. Leaked set photos may have shown the Avengers back in time at the Battle of New York. If that happens in the movie, it would be virtually impossible not to include the villains the team faced there in some way. Number 7. Loki Next on our list is the Chitauri's one-time leader, Loki, who is confirmed to appear in Endgame. And I know what you're thinking, didn't that guy bite it in Avengers 3? Also, hadn't he become kind of a good guy anyway? Yes and yes. And the Russos have confirmed that this time Loki's passing isn't a trick. He's gone for real. However, the devious, but not altogether evil, adopted brother of Thor will be returning for Endgame and his own series on Disney's soon-to-launch streaming service. While we can't tell you anything about his streaming series, we have some idea about how he might return in Endgame. It should come as no surprise that, like the Chitauri, Loki's return hinges on revisiting the Battle of New York through time travel. Loki was the main antagonist in the first Avengers movie. Of course, God or not, he was swiftly put in his place by Hulk. If the movie revisits the Battle of New York, it wouldn't be so strange to see the more villainous, scepter-wielding version of Loki there. It's also possible that Endgame will somehow alter time and allow Loki to live, a plot point that the character's legions of fans would be thrilled to see. Number 6. The Grand Master the Grand Master made quite an impression when he appeared in Thor Ragnarok. As the leader of the trash planet Sakaar, he led with a zany but successful strategy. That is, until Thor, Hulk, and Valkyrie escaped, leaving the Grand Master at the mercy of his angered citizens. His fate looked potentially grim in a post credit sequence, but that doesn't mean that the Grand Master isn't still around. Jeff Goldblum expressed a strong desire to be part of Endgame while teasing the extreme strength his character could wield. While we didn't see much evidence of this in Ragnarok, Goldblum isn't wrong about his character, at least in the comics version. The Grand Master is a celestial being, something that makes him more powerful and older than most life in the universe. So it's possible that the Grand Master, perhaps in conjunction with his brother the Collector, might go up against Thanos, or the Avengers, or both. After all, the Grand Master may not approve of Thanos' actions to snap away half of all life, but he also might not be into the Avengers' plans either. There's also the possibility that the Celestials will play a larger role in future phases of the MCU, so the Grand Master appearance in Endgame could serve as a setup for that. Number 5. Ultron Another blast from the Avengers' past could come from Ultron. The twisted robot created by Tony Stark in Avengers Age of Ultron, the idea that Ultron could make an appearance in Endgame gained traction courtesy of a theory by a Reddit user. It was noted that when Ronin is shown in Endgame's Super Bowl trailer, his face is bathed in red light. It's possible that light was coming from Ultron because he is one of the main MCU characters whose powers emit red light, and of course Scarlet Witch. This theory also contends that Ronin will find Ultron in Japan where the evil robot is controlling the Yakuza. Why is Ultron in Japan? Hiding out there would enable Ultron to take advantage of the country's technology while staying off the Avengers radar. It's quite possible that Ultron continues to exist in some form after the events of Age of Ultron. Whether or not that means he'll appear in Endgame though is up in the air. After all, that red light could be a lot of things that have nothing to do with Ultron. Number 4. Hela Another villain that would be a welcomed addition to Endgame is Thor's long-lost sister, Hela. Hela seemed to meet her end during the destruction of Asgard in Thor Ragnarok. She is the goddess of death though, so it's possible that she's still alive and well. After all, she proved to be practically unstoppable in Ragnarok. 
so she could always take a page out of her adopted brother Loki's playbook and only appear to be gone. Another theory states that Hela has gone to the underworld and may be seen there. The reason behind the theory has to do with the statue. A photo of a scene that is expected to appear in Endgame shows a statue at Durham Cathedral. The photo was apparently taken during filming for Avengers 3, but the scene didn't make it into the film. Meanwhile, Kate Blanchett, who portrays Hela, did an interview in which a similar looking statue is seen in the background. Also, the location with the statue was seen in Age of Ultron during Thor's hallucinations at the hands of the Scarlet Witch. Fans have speculated that the location is Valhalla, so the statue's appearance in set photos and with Kate Blanchett could indicate where we'll see Hela. Another theory is that, given Hela's status, she could also be the character of Death who appears in the comics. In his comic book form, Thanos' motivation for the snap was to impress his beloved, Death. Given Thanos had a very different motivation in Avengers 3 though, this theory may be far-fetched. Number 3. Thanos The third strongest villain on our list is the one that we know for sure will be in Endgame. We're talking about the big purple guy himself, Thanos. At the end of Avengers 3, Thanos made good on his promise to hang up his armor. After the decimation, he's living in solitude on a farm, supposedly satisfied that he did exactly what he set out to do. While Thanos no doubt remains incredibly powerful, the Infinity Gauntlet was destroyed during the snap, so he no longer has its power at his disposal. Because of this, many have theorized that Thanos will not be the central villain of Endgame. There's also been speculation that Thanos will team up with the Avengers to eradicate an even greater threat, or that he might not make it past the first 20 minutes of the movie. Whatever his fate though, we know Thanos will play a role in Endgame somehow. And we know when he sets his mind to something, he's pretty much unstoppable. Number 2. Annihilus Fans have proposed that many other characters could be the main villain of Endgame if Thanos doesn't retain the title. Almost all of these villains haven't been part of the MCU yet. The two characters that came up the most in our completely unscientific survey of fan theories are the ones that we'll talk about here. First up is Annihilus, the second strongest villain on our list. In the comics, Annihilus is the ruler of the Negative Zone. While the Negative Zone hasn't been mentioned in the MCU before, the Quantum Realm played an important role in Ant-Man and the Wasp, and is likely to play a big role in Endgame. So to include Annihilus, the Negative Zone could just be swapped out for the Quantum Realm. Then if the Avengers try to use the Quantum Realm to travel in time and set things right, they could find themselves at the mercy of Annihilus. While mostly associated with the Fantastic Four, in comics, Annihilus has done battle with the rest of the Marvel Universe, and it took all the cosmic characters there to beat him back. Annihilus is a seriously intimidating villain, and could be an awesome addition to the MCU. The problem is that until very recently, the rights to the character were owned by Fox. Disney and Marvel didn't reacquire those rights until after Endgame was done filming. While it's possible that the two studios worked something out ahead of time so that the character could appear, it doesn't seem all that likely. Still, never say never. Number 1. Kronos That leads us to the strongest villain on our list, Kronos. For those familiar with the comics, Kronos' classification as a villain may come as a surprise. Kronos isn't a villain there. He is all-powerful though, with abilities including telepathy and the control of time. He's also Thanos' grandfather, and one of the only characters who could stop him from carrying out his dastardly plans. In the comics, Kronos has no desire to rule the world, but given how often the MCU switches characters around, it's possible that this could be his goal in Endgame. If Kronos wants to dominate the universe, why haven't the Avengers come up against him yet? According to one fan theory, Kronos is trapped in the Quantum Realm. Because they need his help to time travel, the Avengers release him. After he's free, it's theorized that Kronos will help the Avengers defeat Thanos. Those bracelets the team has been seen wearing in leaked set photos could be time control devices courtesy of Kronos. They could enable the Avengers to carry out their mission to get the Infinity Stones first. Once Thanos is done for though, Kronos could reveal himself to be a far greater threat to the universe than his grandson. There is some evidence for this theory, even if it's rather tentative. First, the Avengers Endgame logo is purple and transparent, 
evoking the look of Kronos from the comics. Second, comics writer Jim Starlin, who created Kronos, has said that one of his characters will appear in Endgame. Third, Doctor Strange was seen filming a scene with a CGI character that is likely to be some sort of cosmic entity. And finally, Kronos isn't just Thanos' granddad, he's an Eternal. With Marvel working on an Eternals film, the inclusion of Kronos in Endgame could be a perfect segue opportunity. Like all theories we've discussed, this one should be taken with a grain of salt. We won't know anything for sure until Endgame hits theaters on April 26th. No matter which villains show up in Endgame, the Avengers will have to contend with a formidable set of foes. Are there villains we left off our list that you think could appear in Endgame? Or do you believe some of the baddies we mentioned are stronger than we've given them credit for? Tell us what you think in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video and want more content like it, please like and subscribe to The Binger. Thanks for watching.